New York Post You're columnist right. John Levine. John, so you heard all this, right? And it's striking that the president refuses to acknowledge his granddaughter. It's striking that Hunter Biden was forced to acknowledge his daughter after a DNA test. So London Roberts testifies to the DOJ, David Weiss's, in that case, you know, there's four alleged charges against Hunter, including tax evasion. The judge orders him to testify under oath about his financials. So the lawyer is for Hunter London Roberts, John. They they want his salary information, how much money he pay, he made in the last five years, and how much money he got paid in foreign deals, including his business with Chinese firm CEFC. This is big stuff. What do you think, John? It's very significant. I mean, history may show that London Roberts' attorneys are more successful at getting information out of Hunter Biden than the House Oversight Committee, which you know, we, we haven't still seen so, so many developments there. But, you know, my, my, my big takeaway, Liz, is that this is just such a sad story. You know, over the years, we've seen in the hard drive that there was never an oligarch, a foreign oligarch or a business partner that didn't, that couldn't have a meeting with Hunter Biden or Joe Biden, whether it be in the White House, on the golf course, you know, at, at fancy restaurants in D.C. And here is Joe Biden's grandchild, four years old, and he's estranged from her, won't acknowledge her. Hunter Biden has no role in her life, and she's not a rich person. She's not a powerful person. She's just someone who's trying to make sure that her child with Hunter Biden is provided for, and he's uh, doing everything he can to, to not do that. Well, this is really striking that the first family is, you know, now involved in basically having first son Hunter Biden being accused of being a deadbeat dad. I mean, his laptop is coming into play. This is what's key. The media is not reporting this. This is important, John. Hunter Biden re emails sh on the laptop show he reached out to high-ranking Obama officials like Antony Blinken. Antony Blinken was in the Obama State Department. He was then Deputy Secretary of State. John, the question is, what was Hunter talking to Antony Blinken about then? Were they talking about the foreign lobbying law of FARA that the Biden team and Obama used to go after Trump's team, like General Michael Flynn? You know, they used off-balance sheet shell companies reportedly to hide and bury the money flows from their overseas deals in China and Russia to avoid registering as foreign agents. What were they, what was he talking about with Antony Blinken? That's a very good question, and I certainly can't tell you. But we do know that increasingly the Hunter Biden scandal doesn't involve just Joe Biden anymore, but also the top lieutenants. Because Antony Blinken, as I'm, as I'm sure your viewers know, was the person who instigated the letter from the former intelligence agency officials, that infamous letter from 51 former intelligence chiefs saying the hard drive is misinformation, it's Russian, it's BS, don't believe it. And that came from Antony Blinken. And the real question I want to ask Antony, if he's ever under oath, is who asked you to reach out to those intelligence officials? Right, so bury the he was rogue. But bury the laptop that has yeah. the information about Antony Blinken talking to Hunter Biden. Was Hunter Biden talking to him about how the Biden family wanted to make money in overseas deals with our adversaries in like China and Russia? Was Antony Blinken talking to uh, Hunter Biden about FARA, the foreign, you know, foreign lobbying laws? I mean, you know, the registering as a foreign lobbyist or a foreign agent would have put a spotlight on how the Biden family was making money in overseas deals, cashing in on the then the vice president's government job. Right. You're, I mean, you're not allowed to act on behalf of foreign governments unless you register. And people go to jail for many, many years for, for acting on behalf of foreign governments and not registering. So if Hunter was doing this, and there's a tremendous amount of evidence that he was, it, it raises very serious and, questions. And James Biden. And, and the other brother. And, you know, so let's stay on this for just one more second. So then Vice President Biden knew what their family was doing all along. That's what reports are indicating, that he did know about, you know, Hunter Biden's business deals. But, he, but then he is getting the Obama White House to go after Trump's team for foreign, foreign uh, lobbying violations and, and threatening them with jail. This is the bullying right. of the Biden team repeatedly, bullying the media, telling them not to cover stories like this, including the New York Post, you know, bullying people with lawsuits, taking people to court in, in courts around the nation. This is the strategy of this Biden team and the Obama White House. Right. I mean, it's a tale as old as time. Accuse your enemy of what you yourself are guilty of. What I am struck by is the combativeness and aggressiveness of Hunter Biden's legal teams here, because there, there was this case was reopened when when Hunter asked to renegotiate what he was paying London Roberts. 
So if he had just kept his original payments, that, that wouldn't have occurred. Yeah. And there's such a tremendous potential for discovery and new information to come out right in the middle of the 2024 presidential campaign, which I know no one on Joe Biden's team is eager to see. Well, this is a rolling dumpster fire inside a train wreck. John Levine, thanks for joining us. We're going to stay on the story in, in the coming weeks.